Welcome back everybody to another tutorial in our Unreal Engine FPS series where we're going through bit by bit, uh, slowly sadly, but uh, going through and making an FPS game. And today's features are going to be some HUD features. We're going to add a crosshair and we're going to expand uh, the HUD just a little bit with a health bar and a shield bar, kind of status uh, of those, those two things. And let's start off with the crosshair. It's pretty straightforward. What we're going to do is, uh, as you can see, it, in the middle of our screen, we've got nothing. You know, we've got, when we aim down sights, we don't want a crosshair, but first person, third person, we don't have anything. So we'll want to hop into our UI folder. And if you've been following along in our series, uh, playlist link in the description, you'll be able to see everything that we've done. And we've created a small folder structure. Some of these are plugins and some of them we've made. Uh, if you hop into the Blueprints folder and then UI and open up your HUD, or if you've got a separate project you're working on, just open up whatever main HUD your player has. Our player always has this HUD. They always have ammo and stuff uh, displayed. But of course, we don't always want that, and, and we'll address that later. But this is where our crosshair is going to be added. So it's actually way simpler than you might think. We're just going to drag an image into our underneath our canvas panel here. You can see it's going to be put up in the top left. That's not where we want it. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to name it Crosshair. And I'm going to do a really simple crosshair. Actually, I'm just going to do a little white dot or a white cube in the middle of the screen because that's the easiest thing to do here. We're going to do Anchor, and then we're going to click on the center one. This anchors it to the center. You'll see the little sun thing go there. And then uh, we want to tell our cube to follow the anchor. So we're just going to reset all the positions to zero not one, zero. And we want the size to be 10 by 10. Yep, 10 by 10. And then alignment 0.5 to 0.5. So if we zoom in, we can see what that did. Oh, I did one by 10. We can see what that does. So if we take the alignment back to zero, you'll see that the cube is kind of a uh, going based off of corner. So if we add the position, it's it's going based off of that top left corner. So if we say zero, that's what it thinks zero is. But we want that to be centered to the entirety of our screen. So we do 0.5 to, to center that alignment. It's like an offset. Anyways, it's just how the positioning system works within the UMG, which is Unreal's uh, UI system. Um, but that's how we can get it centered. Now from here, you can make this crosshair image whatever you want. You can have the little solid, a single little dot, you can have a cross, you can have, you know, there's there's crosshair packs out there that are literally five, 10 bucks, and it's a hundred different crosshairs, right? And many games, uh, you know, don't have a crosshair. Many games also use a different crosshair for each gun. Um, in games like CSGO, the crosshair widens or shrinks to indicate accuracy. There's many different crosshairs in gaming and there's many different ways they behave. And we'll address some of those things because I know those are features you guys want, uh, but right now we're just implementing the design and, and that's all we're gonna have right here. So over on the left though, pardon me, over on the right, this panel is where we obviously modify our UI settings. And um, it, for each component, uh, they've got an appearance, or at least for most of them. And this brush, if you drop it down, it, it normally just looks like this, but if you drop it down, there's an image section. So this is where you'd pick your crosshair. You can make it anything. Uh, this is gonna be black because it's not aligned. Um, you can make it uh, brick or cobblestone or whatever. Like it's not gonna fit because it's not aligned and it's not gonna look proper, right? But if you had some random material or some texture, you could just slap this on. It takes textures, that's right, not materials. Um, so, you know, you could make that little square whatever you wanted, but this is also where you would select for your crosshairs image that you've downloaded, right? Now, I don't want anything. I just want it to be white because uh, if I just hop into the game right now, uh, it works. You can see we've just got a little white cube. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's not intrusive into our image. Uh, and if it is intrusive, you can add opacity to it um, or you can, um, you know, change the shape or something. But you can see that lines right up with the red square for that line trace when we pick up weapons, which tells us it is center. Um, I mean, you could you could go serial and measure out your pixels and all that good stuff, and some people do. 
but generally center at, at this small of a size is center enough. So, um, you know, I'm going to add features for removing the crosshair and having cutscenes and all that different stuff. But right now, the crosshair is going to be there all the time. Uh, and, you know, we don't want that for aiming down sight. So I will address that in a different episode. But that's that's how the crosshair is going to look. That's how it's going to operate. And it's just smack dab in the center. So I'm going to set something up for our health and uh, shields, which is something that we're going to be addressing in later episodes as well. We're going to add health and damage and, and shields and armor, that kind of stuff, whatever you want to call it. And so our first step to that is very similar to what we did for our ammo down here. We're going to make a horizontal box. And uh, we're just going to scale that up a little bit. Over here, we're going to do 128 by 105. And it's really the height that matters more than anything, because we're going to allow it to size to content, because we're going to put a text box in here. So let's go get that text real quick. And we actually want two. So we're going to control C, control V. And this top box is going to be our health, and then we'll have one right below it that will be our armor, shield, whatever you want to call it. So I'm pretty simple. I don't have images or uh, textures and stuff like that. I mean, I'm sure I could get a hold of some, um, but I'm just going to use a plus sign for the health and a, a different symbol. I can't remember the name of it uh, for, for our armor. So I'm just going to do a little plus sign there. And it's pretty small because, as you can see, we'd have to zoom all the way in to see it. So let's change our font size to 75 here. Okay, and as you can see, the text box size to what we want. And then we can change this to honestly say anything. We can have it say um, armor if we wanted and then have a third bar box or health and have a third box that handles our numbers. Uh, we could have this um, be our numbers only, which is what I'm going to do. And we could even have this uh, be an image that is uh, sca that scales to our health bar. Um, but we're not going to do the image version. I might do that in a future episode. It is fairly straightforward, but it's just extra steps. So let's just set this to be is variable up here because we want to be able to modify it and we're going to call it health. And then we're just gonna call this other one plus because we, we don't really need it. And I believe we need to change this to 75 as well. Pardon me, 50. Okay. And then I'm just gonna change some of the alignment settings there so it's centered. And our alignment settings for the plus should be fine by default. Well, it looks like I did this. Don't know why, but hey, you know, if it works, don't break it. <laughs> so we will add the logic for, for making these numbers in the future. But one last thing I want to add is padding. Now, if you don't know what padding is, that's fine. Uh, it's usually not needed for most things. But uh, if you're having variable text boxes that move in, in size based off of the text that's in them and all that good stuff, padding can be useful. Or of course, if you just have a, a dynamic UI in other ways. Um, but we're just gonna space out the plus sign in the text just to give it a little room from the edge of the screen and from the other text there. Padding is consistent. So no matter how much text is added or removed from whatever your your text box is that padding will stay consistent um, so that way even if it goes all the way to the right or whatever and should overlap with something else if both of those objects have padding it, they'll kind of move away from each other at the same rate and distance it, it you'll be able to see whenever you mess with more ui stuff and and have to deal with much more complicated objects and if you follow the series and follow our inventory that we'll be developing more it will use padding quite a lot there just so that way you know when you have a lot of close things that are compact like a ui or like a inventory and with lots of items and text 
padding is definitely your friend so that way everything stays legible and, and visually pleasing. Okay, so that's what I've set the padding to on the text box to, for verification there, and uh, just so you guys know on the plus there. So now that we have this kind of little template set up, we can just copy this, control C, control V, and it made a second one here for us right over it. But we don't want that. We want it moved down just a bit. So we're gonna take that position, move it to 130, and then everything else can stay the same except of course what is inside the text box. So this is where I'm gonna change this little icon to this, it's like the little up arrow, um, shift six on most keyboards. Um, and then this text block, we're just going to rename its variable to be armor. Um, yes, and I know I spell it the British way, fight me or whatever. Um, and I'm gonna change this to <laughs> this, I guess. I guess it's the same thing. I, um, I'm just gonna call it that. I don't know, man. That's a dumb name. It's a terrible variable name. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out what that's called. And yeah, this does, doesn't matter. I don't have time to Google. But as you can see, our padding has stayed the same for both things. And so whenever this armor va value moves, it's going to shrink and and move with everything else. Same with. Uh, the whole horizontal box since we have sized content on. If we had that off, you'd see the box would be way smaller based off of what we have it. And of course, it would um, it would conflict with other things potentially because, you know, like I said, UI can get crowded and all that good stuff. So that's why we size the text just that way it's nice and comfy there. So we just want to make sure that this is checked to be is variable and it is. And other than that, that's all we really need for the armor. So that way, whenever we're ready to set this up, uh, we'll have the variables there to play around with. And I'll, I'll display that logic. But uh, if we just hit play, you can see it says text block and we've got them there. But you can see they are just barely crept away from the screen. So that's about it for just adding those UI elements. Uh, this is basically a video just to get a video out there. I've been wanting to add the crosshair for a bit and people have just said that, hey, where's the crosshair? And I thought about just doing a video for that. And then I kind of realized that's going to be a two minute video. Um, and then I was like, okay, well, we need to do health and all that. So I got that knocked out. So hopefully the next episode, we can add health logic and add the logic for possibly like not having a crosshair like if you're moving, like if you guys have suggestions on crosshair behavior, because there really is a lot of different ones out there in, in gaming, uh, you know, throw that in the comment section. But other than that, I'm probably just going to have the crosshair be invisible until we pick up a gun. Um, but yeah, I, I really need to like make a settings menu. Ooh, guys, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this like as a, uh, a poll in, in the community section, but I want your thoughts on this if you're watching this video. I'm going to have like a kind of lack of a better term god mode settings panel so that way in game we can modify all of our settings and variables that you would normally do that you would normally mo permanently modify like permanently modifying reload time and all these little things but I we can expose these variables to be a panel in game think Gary's mod esque and then we can just modify them both for your guys's benefit and use to really understand how stuff works, but also for your utility of dialing in what your settings need to be. And of course, just displaying, because like if I'm teaching something, right? If, I, if I'm if i programming all this and I'm teaching you guys, well, I, don't, I may not want every feature to be active all the time, right? And you may not either when you're testing and stuff. So, you know, throw that in the comments. If you guys like the God, god mode panel idea or whatever um i definitely want to actually set that up i don't care what you're gonna say i'm gonna make the video anyways <laughs> long ending aside as normal the rant is over thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and uh, see you next time